cock too big for trousers, please advise. I thought you were dead. Sun out of your eyes and be yourself. I heard you were dead. She's dead, wrapped in plastic. That man's dead back then. It was worse than dead. He must be dead. Is this a dead man, Ducky? Welcome to the Roast Mortem Podcast. I'm Tom Saltman. I'm Travis Lee. Hey, I'm Cody McCann. And we're here to talk shit about dead people. The deadest idiots ever that ever existed. 100% dead. We do this for you. We love you. Who's on the, uh, who's on the mortician slab today? Hello. Travis, you did our boy today, so tell the lovely people at home who's on our mortician slab. I got a little, little boy today. He's a Danish man. A Danish boy? He, he is a Danish astronomer. Lars Ulrich isn't dead yet. <laughs> I'm not roasting him. I'm roasting Tycho Brahe. Tycho, Tycho Brahe? Who the hell is that? Dude, he sounds just... like a toy. He's probably one of the smartest dudes that ever existed, but he's also a complete idiot. And he didn't have a nose. Can't no just un- nose. No, you, uh, oh, you explain no. this. You can't just unpack you'll, that. You'll, you'll, you'll learn about that. So he wasn't born and noseless. No, he wasn't born noseless. What he's known for, he's with his naked eye. He was a naked eye astronomer they, before telescopes. He, he didn't just, believe looking through glass. He didn't. He, didn't he was. Know. He was old age. <laughs> he was an. Yeah. yeah. He was like, "What does this do?" Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. No, no, no. I'm trying to imagine other scientists, like aka other naked eye scientists. I think Albert Einstein would have done pretty well, you know, studying light. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you atoms. didn't have the electron microscope. It's yeah. like, it's probably there. Dude, seeing, uh, seeing light is the easiest thing. I'm a scientist Do now. it all the time. <laughs> Do it. Travis, you have a great PhD time. in bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my way to get one. Tycho Brahe discovered a thousand stars. Five. New stars. Uh, okay. With how, his own fucking eyes. How hard eye. is that? How hard is yeah, it? With his eyes, though. You logged them. I feel like I could see a bunch of stars and... Yeah, but also, like, did, did okay. people... Oh, he logged them. Yeah, he, them. like, cataloged these stars. Like, it wasn't just like, there's one, there's one. Yeah, that one looks nice, it's pretty. Did he try it? Did, <laughs> did he try to sell all, this catalog All, all off? Danish people sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking they all sound blade. like Jersey. There a, I, there's a star. I've seen it. I've uh, seen them star. Very smart. Did he, did he, like, offer to sell the stars so you could name them after a loved one? I did that one time. <laughs> did you? I did. <laughs> I'm ashamed. The, I'm gonna. You, oh. I'm gonna go bottle myself right now. <laughs> you can't have that one. That's Alpha Centauri. <laughs> You'll have to wait till after the show for that one. Yeah, but also he he helped overturn the geocentric model of the universe. Good uh, lad. Solar system. I like that. With the heliocentric. Model. I like that. Good lad. So that's that's Ex- basically the the solar system. Be- before a certain period, we we thought the solar system revolved around the Earth. And after a certain period, it revolved around the sun because people figured out, you know, the Earth is the most important thing. No, he was the first one to prove that. No, no, we'll get to that. He wasn't the first one to prove that, but his work contributed to. Right. And I know all this, but it's more for the listeners. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. so, I'm very smart. But, so heliocentric yeah. is yeah. sun centered universe. Sun centered. Or not universe, sun centered solar, solar system. system. And geocentric is a Earth centered. Okay. And Geo is not right. We know now. Yeah, no. The, the, the solar system does not revolve around us. We're not the most important thing in the world. We're Lies. actually terrible to eat. Lies. In the world. In the world. In the world <laughs> in that the world. revolves. In the world of the universe in the world of. <laughs> <laughs> also had the best mustache in the scientific revolution. How do you rate? How would you describe this how would you rape? mustache? Did you say rape? Rate. <laughs> where no rape where are you coming this. from? Uh, you started. So imagine like, like two... like. I mean, I'm either going to go with joints or like two hot dogs coming off the side of his joints mouth. Joints or yeah, hot I'm looking, dogs. I'm looking at a picture of him right now. Yeah. And wow, that's something yeah. else. He's got two drumsticks. It, He's it, like, I this, like, this is a guy you bring to wing night. Yeah, imagine him talking. They're just flapping all over the place. I, and yeah. just like, watch, I, your, watch your eyes. Where are these glasses that he refuses to use? I like to think a, an abnormally large moth has landed on his face. And he is very comfortable with it and just lets it stay there and feed <laughs> off the crumbs. It's kind of like the Mothra Godzilla with the two caterpillars that are just crawling around that like <laughs> the Japanese people uh, sing. Mothra! Yeah, it's like Mothra's lackeys. And they're climbing. Yeah, the two of them just sh- shooting the uh, silly string out of their stupid fucking mouth. Was that what that was? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 
It's shot just like it. It's cum. <laughs> shot just like it. Just like cum. Just I, like it. I ate a pound of that. Oh! <laughs> Do you call one one nine hundred cum? I was on us? the shoot. I was on the Godzilla shoot from Mothra. That's sweet. That's your juice. That forty that years ago or something Sack. like that. So also along with this, and this is I didn't find this in my research, but I have a feeling that, and I actually reached out to the dude who made this game. On Twitter, he didn't respond because I'm an idiot and no one knows me. We'll right. get him to But respond. I think that the King of the Cosmos from Katamari Damacy, if you haven't played that game, it's amazing, is based off of Tycho Brahe. Really? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. wow. Because the King, the King of the Cosmos has like a, the a fucking triangular nose. nose. Yeah. yeah, and it's gold. He obviously space, you know, he's got he's got this baller mentality, and we'll find out why Tycho Brahe is a baller. Because he is. <laughs> a baller Katamari Damacy pun intended. All the puns. All the puns are intended. Did he have his sons rebuild his house when he blew it up by accident? Because that's kind of the theme behind Katamari. It's like I ran the universe <laughs> into the ground. Yeah. Impressive. I'm going to need my no... son to do that while I come across the screen laying down like a sexy Playboy <laughs> model. <laughs> yeah, well, he was the sexy Playboy <laughs> model, but his sons. I think he only had daughters, actually. I should do my research better, but well, I think it's only daughters. Well, that's no good. That's a lot of stress on him. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of, uh, I want to go see Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, suck my whole dick. Your Rapunzel. dad has a lot of daughters. Yeah. You are the only son. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I, am... I didn't make it easier. <laughs> Tom said he was okay. You can't see it, but he twitched a little bit in, in the studio his, here. His eye moved a little yeah. bit. You might be able to hear it. Yeah, just like gills on a fish. Just yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. All right, so let's jump into his youth. This youth boy. Good starting point. I like it. He was born December 14th, 1546 in Nutstrup Castle. There's a lot of Danish words in this this the thing that I'm nuts not going to pronounce. Nutstrup. Where are your nuts drop? 1546. <laughs> Where are your nuts drop? 1547. Uh, in a very noble Danish royal family. So he came from money. Just like Lars Ulrich. Just like Lars. I'm going to make it a point to relate this guy to Lars Ulrich as many times as I can. <laughs> Ruin All right. the show. Sure. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. Destroying this show. <laughs> it's done. It's done. The whole show's done. Decimate. Right. No more That's listening. it. No more listening. <laughs> Listen's over. Go put on your favorite Metallica <laughs> record, which better be Stanger. Fuck, PSA. Tom. PSA. <laughs> Tycho was kidnapped by his uncle uh, Jorgen at the age two, and his parents were like, whatever. But like we don't. It's care. not a kidnapping, then. That's... No, no, he was legitimately kidnapped. Yeah, but if like... the parents are like, whatever, you can't send off the amber. Yeah, but the... yeah, but they didn't weren't like, please take my son. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but the if... uncle showed up and was like, ah, this is mine now. But essentially, I'm if gonna you go don't... wake up, young Tycho. <laughs> oh, he's not in there anymore. It's just under his. Well, coat. what's for like... dinner? <laughs> Spaghetti was again, eh? I got stolen by Jorgen Steeler. Jorgen, Jorgen Brahe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is just long-term babysitting, but continue. All right, well, he was kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> he studied at the University of Copenhagen, and his uncle wanted him to study law, but Tycho was very interested in science, particularly astronomy. The laws mm. of nature. Yeah. So on August 21st, 1560, Tycho experienced his first solar eclipse. and uh, his uh, eyes uh, after that. <laughs> yeah, there were no fucking... There was no solar eclipse classes. I'm sure he just stared at it the whole time. Was it a total boy? <laughs> I don't I, I don't really know. But he saw it and he was impressed by the fact that it was predicted. Even though it was a day off. If he's impressed, it was Ooh, probably that's pretty big up there. Yeah, that's a that's a that's it's a, supposed that's to be okay. brighter outside. That, yeah. That, that's an alright margin for error, I feel. Yeah, in, in the well, in the sixteenth century. Yeah, sure. and you're and you're and you'll guessing cosmological events that have been in motion since the beginning of time. Right. Well, Ty Tycho was like, fuck that, it's not accurate enough. Because he was like, I'm jumping into the fucking astronomy. He fuck had, my uncle. He had OCD. Oh. Yeah. He wanted to study everything about the universe. But his uncle was like, no, you're doing law, because who the fuck is the sky all night? Technically, that's a that's part of the money universe. Is. Yeah. Law is part of universe. His lineage is that of Salino and Barnes. <laughs> oh, man. What a, that's Family like, of law. That's anyway. a that's a if, tragedy deeper than Romeo and Juliet so right now. Bones, look in, into the sun now. Never more. Rise and get a new gold nose. Never more. <laughs> no <laughs> more Selino and Barnes. Barnes. It's Selino or Barnes now. Yeah. Well, for those of you that don't live on Long Island, Selino and Barnes is a <laughs> oh, thank you local thank law firm, and we've been suffering their commercials for a long, 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 long time. 
Suffering, well, pho- suffering is a generous word. Yes. One of their one of their things was uh call their phone number was like eight 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 e
you know, maybe a heated D&D game or a LARP duel. But this is the 16th oh, century, and they have real swords. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we have real swords now, but there's more trouble you get in. You yeah. can legally duel someone All in the you do today century. is just hop Fuck, on yeah. the Wolfram Alpha, <laughs> and it's over and done with. Yeah. Oh, but, but the swords were handier back then. Yeah. In 1566, Tycho and Mandarup have a sword duel in the dark. In like, the no dark? Lights. No lights. What? Oh, come on. Just wait for the daytime. Nope. They're like, fuck that. Mm, We're stupid. fighting over math. <laughs> so here's the thing. what you're doing. Like, there could have been a third party. Like, probably. So Maybe here's the thing. The I, I, I've learned that, that sword dueling is not as lethal as we assume, because usually sword dueling usually went to just first blood rather than death. Right. But these boys are playing in the pitch black of night? Yeah. Okay, right. First fine. blood could be death. <laughs> first, yeah. Somebody could have had first blood 38 minutes ago. And Tycho Brahe's just still flailing in the dark. <laughs> yeah, everyone left with their cocks, but Tycho lost his nose. It's a clean swoop. Uh, That's like Zeke the plumber. <laughs> what is it? You remember Zeke the plumber? Oh, shit. Yeah, he yeah. didn't have a nose. Yeah, oh, but stop. he was a plumber. He stop. was not a mathematician. Stop, where's Zeke? Salute your shorts. Salute your shorts. Camp on a Oh, shit. That used to scare the shit out of me. Yeah. I think that, that came out when I was like seven. Yeah. And I watched that. Fuck. So I was in the right it area. It was scary. Yeah, the you were in the, yeah, you were in the... Right, right area. I, I remember I used to watch that show and sing along, and and my parents were a little bit concerned because I used to sing "Can't Can Marijuana." Yeah, me we too. hold you in our hearts. Same here. Like, how do you know marijuana? I'm like, Daddy does the the greens. I learned it from you, <laughs> Donkey Lips. Well, Tycho was next to a university, so he kind of got his nose fixed up real quick. I'm sure that would be like a mortal wound back in the day. Stop if you all. How can you get a nose fixed up real quick back in what 1656? Well. I don't know, they put some leeches on his nose no, or some shit. It's not and then fixing. they then they strapped a prosthetic gold and silver nose to his face. That's a fix wow. now. Yeah. This is where I'm tying in that Katamari boy, because he got a gold nose. I feel yeah. like yeah. they yeah. want to give that away. Like... He looks very sickly too. <laughs> he does. He's kind of like uh he's got no no skin color. No so skin. Just a my, gold my, nose. My my question now is was, was Tycho Brahe just inundated with thieves? I got your nose. Like he silly, he, he will have that silly uncle. Wink, oh my wink. God, that's great. Stop! <laughs> He's got my nose. My oh. nose. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh, he tricked funny. me again. <laughs> With his gold nose, he landed himself a wife, Christian Jorgen Datter. Because of the uh. nose. Because of the nose. I mean, he's a gold fucking nose. If it's a gold nose, I mean, you're worth more than any house in does the neighborhood have, if you have a gold nose. Does he have gold other parts of his anatomy? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All gold dick. She was actually a commoner, which is very weird, because Wait, she must have been banging. Because usually a, usually a noble doesn't hook up with a commoner. There's like this weird... I, I still don't. Oh yeah, you had to. I wouldn't dare hook up with any filthy commoners. Bravo. Good lord, as you, you are a commoner. As I like my fun, <laughs> but I want to know it came from royalty. <laughs> There's like a weird limbo thing where if you're with a commoner for three years, this is going to tie in. You're legally married, but any of your offspring and the person you married are still commoners. So what? he has like no inheritance, pretty much. Oh, what? okay. What so so he has battle. he has like a biological offspring. Of right. Ladies. Yes, he does have a few daughters, and but yeah, they aren't in, entitled to his like land holding or any of that shit. Just give it to them. His loot boxes. A, this episode is brought to you by Loot Crate. <laughs> it's not. Uh, daughter, you will have my loot crepes. <laughs> my loot <laughs> crepes. Crepe. Loot crepes. Oh, my loot crepes. My loot crepes. My loot loopers. I will pay for monthly crepes to show up on my doormat. I'll do that for crepes? you. Crepes? Crepes. Loop crepes. Fuck crepes. I like crepes. crepes. Are the worst. They're Euro Hot Pockets. Fuck Hot Pockets. Those are good for one thing and throwing them out. That's it. He found a Hot Pocket in space. We're brought really? to you by Hot yeah. Pockets. Yeah. You know how Hot Pockets explode in your mouth and it burns? Yeah. He was the first person to discover a supernova, coining it Stella Nova. That New was a star. great tie-in. I did hot it! Pockets. I yes. did it! Segway. Fucking the universe the is all Segway made out of hot pockets! It is. Oh, God, I'm sweating so much. I did you it. You can't deny the universe is made out of hot pockets. So he noticed a new star appear in the Cassiopeia constellation. This was something that was noticed, like, they studied the Cassiopeia constellation since Aristotle. 
All right. So it was like noted, and then all of a sudden, like, whoa, there's a fucking new star there. And it's bright as fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Here's, oh, shit. Here's my beef with Cassiopeia. What is that constellation of? A whore. A beautiful woman. A whore. It's Cassiopeia. just a W. It's literally a W, and people see, like, this beautiful woman lounging on a couch. Like, oh, that's Cassiopeia. I'm sitting here like, that's a w. I think that's a misconception. I think Cassiopeia is a, um, it's a Casio keyboard. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and they see, they see the W, and the first thing that comes to their mind is wonderful. And what is wonderful? A Casio keyboard. Yes! And I love it. Logic. Logic keyboards. Oh, I am yeah. a science man myself. If you ever want to be a musician, Tom is a musician, but I have some advice for him. Casio, <laughs> Casio keyboard default song. Musician. Zero zero, <laughs> zero, zero, eight yeah, is amazing. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 That's like basically the song Da Da Da. I've been fucking up for a long time. I've been a musician for uh, at least at least three years. You root? <laughs> you suck, dude. Use a Casio. More I than that. Fired. I got fired from being a musician. I'm no longer a musician. Tom was fired to jail, and now he's going to become president. You're still a musician. <laughs> no. I mean, for, for video games now. Anyway, <laughs> Tom told me not to say so. He probably edits, edits out all the so. He so I'm gonna so, like so, a... so, 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 my boy. You owe me a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, dot, 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 dot. All right. <laughs> Moving on. People before this thought that the sky was unchangeable. It's just like everything just exists out there. Mutable. Yeah. Unmutable. Unmutable. I agree. Right, I still a, agree. Uh, <laughs> you still agree? I no mean, such things as satellites. No, satellites are the fakest. Tom, but you can see there's a day and night time. <laughs> Shut up. No such thing as satellites. <laughs> <laughs> Brahe was the first person to challenge this idea with the concept of parallax. Oh. Which is, things that are closer to you move quicker with your eye than things that are further away. You mean 15 centuries and nobody noticed that? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> just a noseless boy. You see that thing that's far away? Oh, I'm not looking at it. I'll just look right in front of me. Always the closest thing. Why is the moon following me? Fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that moon! The moon likes me best. Not you best. I'm dating the moon. <laughs> I married the moon like I married that roller coaster. But then I went on it and I got rumbly. And no one liked the way it felt, so I divorced the roller coaster. Married the moon. Good lord! <laughs> Typhoid Mary. He goes on another tour to Europe, taking his sister along, Sophia Brahe, as his assistant, and gains he, a lot of notoriety his, with his whole parallel. His sister? He has a sister. He was one of 12. <laughs> a sister. One of 12. El the eldest. And wow. The, his uncle stole the eldest. Like, that's mine first. I have none. <laughs> You have too many. Mm. I'm taxing you. I'm the older brother. I'm the oldest one. Travis and I are the oldest of our families. I'm the only one of my family. All <laughs> my family doesn't exist. I spawned out of a hole in the ground. And I, I, someone found him. Yeah. He grew up Tom before. did. Tom I is know. my father. Yeah. I congealed. He was covered in diamonds. <laughs> so I had to pick him up. Where'd my diamonds go? Where's well, my diamond baby? If you ever run to Travis, tell him he never had any diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> All this attention caught the eyes of Frederick II, who was the king of Denmark. And right now, Ty Tycho was like testing out the waters in Europe. He's like, who wants to pick me up as their court astronomer? And uh, Frederick was like, hey. dude. Hey. Knocking on. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm here. Come you back guys, to Denmark. Uh, you guys look at this guy. <laughs> you want uh, my help looking up at this guy? It's me. I. It's Tycho. I got. Uh, look at my nose. Look at my nose. I'll you're making. You you're making fun of him, but I always felt like the coolest job profession. I'm not joking and breaking this up on the spot. I always felt the coolest job profession was scientist of the court. I am not saying that's not cool. I think asking for that position is hilarious. No, you just. You throw know what I mean? Like, how do you how do you pitch that one? I don't think he was asking. He was just throwing his dick around, his gold ass dick around. Oh, he is my dick. <laughs> Scientist of He's the He's like, court. you see that thing that's far away? It's gonna move slower than the thing closer to you. Check Fuck. it out, bro. Fuck, he's right, and his nose is gold. Let him in. I call it... Parallax! Parallax, boy! 
He's got Kick. a pair of lax. He knows how to hang out with the lacrosse boys. Lax it up, buddy. Lax it up, buddy. Uh, we got to <laughs> we got to explain the other Long Island thing now. Shut Great. up. We don't need to explain the cross. It's the Indian game that they ruined. Imagine fishing and <laughs> soccer. <laughs> Imagine fishing and soccer in the same game. All right. So Frederick, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Frederick, and I'm off my slide. We're gonna keep going. Fuck it. Frederick was like, "Hey, uh, you should chill for Denmark because it's where you're from, dude. And your your uncle is a good man." I, I didn't mention this before, but his uncle saved the king from drowning. That's how he died. Got what was the king drowning on? In the water. He fell in the cold Danish, <laughs> cold Danish waters. <laughs> he fell into he was, the cold Danish sink. He was uh, walking along the canal eating a cherry cheese Danish and misstepped. Yeah, right in. Right I'm in. a Danish eating a Danish in a Danish canal. I'm a Danish man, and I'm, I'm dying on now. <laughs> Frederick gave this dude <laughs> his. I've got that one. <laughs> I was just rolling. Rolling! Rolling so hot. I drank four beers since we started this. We've been rolling for 40 minutes. Well, that's the spirit of Tycho, because he loved drinking. We know that, because he had another fucking sword fight. Yeah. He was drunk. He was like five days of wedding. Honestly, that's a good thing. If you're an alcoholic, your your nose gets red. But no one can tell if you've got a gold nose. A shiny nose. He must be awfully respectable. Frederick gives him his own island. What? And it... Where? Where's the island? That's it's my in first Denmark, question. somewhere. Not a good island. A cold island. <laughs> Not a good island. Right. But an island's still the same. All right. And he constructs a castle slash observatory called Urenberg. That's the first thing you do when you have an Ur- island. Urenberg. Yeah. <laughs> well, Silly anything name. you build on an island, you can you can scale it however you want. That's what I'm saying. The if, biggest building on the island is the castle. When you have the right. island, the first thing that goes up is the silly name you castle. Can a, you can get a shed from Home Depot and throw it on your private island, and that's that's the castle of <laughs> the island. Hey, that's my castle. Get out of there, raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Fucking is, dickhead. Yeah. This is Castle Solid Dom. The castle cost Denmark uh, 1% of its entire budget, which is... Denmark's a very fucking powerful place. Oh, they're rich as place. fuck. Yeah. Still, back in the And that's 16th. one one year. <laughs> one, one year. All right, yeah. one year. Okay, not not too bad. Not uh, a reoccurring cost. So he there were inhabitants on this island before, and he uses them as labor. He actually builds, like, his own printing press so he can... Like publishes works. He was a more practical version of of Willy Wonka. Is yes. That, does that yeah. exist? Like a boring one. Like hey, Oompa Loompa. Right. And we make just... paper. <laughs> it's kind of boring. And he went to the Oompa Loompa. He's like, you guys live here. All right, great. I got jobs for all of you. <laughs> What's your name, <laughs> Sam? Who cares? You're all Sam. Now. Yeah, you're all Sam's. And he made all of his servants. He made all of his stands stands do fucking bullshit and tax the fuck out of them. He basically. It was a fiefdom. He was the first, like, scientist fiefdom. I like that. Word I, going yeah, this on. is. All right, this guy's an asshole. And yeah, I like it. He's just like, fuck you guys. You're going to be my science pitches. And he brings in loads of scientists from around the world as well. And, like, this is a huge complex. This is when he starts cataloging his thousand stars. He has resources to catalog stars. What does he think he's getting out of it, aside from, like, a catalog of stars? Because, he, you know, like, some. It's all about the menstrual cycle. <laughs> no, 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 the no, blood. no, the moon blood, boy. Yeah. It, it oh. takes it takes convincing to it, it takes convincing to let somebody part with their money for you to study celestial bodies. I think there was just a bigger there was just a bigger importance back then. They're like, is it, is it just what like, the fuck do we have to look at? The sky. Look at the That's our fucking Netflix. Yeah. Well, we've really okay, kept yeah, our okay. technology, so I think we'll just sit around and look up. Right, and like at the time there was. Like, loads of different models flying back. Like, when I said the Tycho model, where it's like, you know, he was contributing to the heliocentric or geocentric model, like, there were tons of people kind of fig- trying to figure out what the solar system was about. Mm. And there's also, like, a theological thing, too, because, like, yeah, you yeah. fuck with the heavens. Right, you know? yeah, you can pry and find the meaning of life. Right, but- so I'm sure a lot of kings were like, I want to know what the heavens have for the, me. You How may- many virgins do I get? Uh, do I get six? Do I get 42? I don't know. Now, you mentioned he was a naked eye scientist. Yeah. So, he's still naked eye this whole time. No, he doesn't, yeah. He never used a telescope. Even the whole compound. Like, so, anyone on no. the compound, no telescopes there? But he, yeah, he actually did build a whole bunch of different tools. Uh, one was a um, a building size quadrant, which is like, I don't know if you've ever seen that thing. It kind of looks like a... I want to say like a compass, sort of. It's like a, it's a way to align the, the horizon with the star and make an accurate measurement. Is it like a handheld oh. thing? 
Like you see, if you ever watch like an old timey ship thing, they kind of hold it up. And oh, like, is, oh. It a, is it a sextant? Oh, right. yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a quadrant, which oh. is like the, a similar thing to a sextant. I can I, see him walking out like I, I, uh, I made a tool for looking at the sky, and it's just a blanket you put over your head, and I cut out a a, a hole for my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my theory. I feel a quadrant does something that a sextant can do 1.5 times better. Because sex is six, and quad is four. Cody, I'm touching my penis right now with your math. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. Cool. <laughs> I don't count. Is that mine? That was mine. This is mine. Cody, you can't have my beer. <laughs> and we're moving on, because he ran his fucking his castle like a frat house, because he loved to drink. Oh, he was a party yeah. boy. A frassle. Yeah. One of the things Tycho did was he had a clairvoyant dwarf named Jep. <laughs> You're making this oh, up. Yeah. You're making this nope. up. Nope. He had a dwarf. I saw this on Jep. Dr. Phil. Jep. 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 That's my first Hard son's P. name. Jep. 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 Uh, and he kept this dwarf under his kitchen table and would feed him morsels of food. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you well, Hold on. Really? Yes. What nationality did. is Jep? Probably Danish. Probably a little Danish boy. Tiny Danish. Tiny Danish. Mini Danish to the go. The ethnicity of Tiny Dane. So, Jep, Jep's favorite activities included incoherently rambling about the future, uh, hiding Tycho's prosthetic nose, and berating his guests, and drunkenly riding a moose. And eating morsels. So, Jep was on a goose? I mean, a moose? Moose! Excuse me. A goose moose. They both ride. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a moose. That's an easy load for a guy yeah. like Jep. I don't know how he got up there. I'm assuming just someone just midget someone threw him up there. Someone probably just threw him up there. <laughs> I would throw him up there. Yeah. If Jep asked me for a lift, he loaded himself into a tiny trebuchet. And just <laughs> aimed, for a, <laughs> aimed for the saddle. So speaking of Tycho's moose, he loved his moose. His moose was like his dog. <laughs> what was his moose's name? I didn't. I couldn't find it. They call, He called the moose Rex. Karen. Oh. Rex. Or Rix. 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 Sorry. And people didn't know what it was because, like, it wasn't an elk, and like mooses aren't native to. Holy fuck! So it got one from Canada. I, I guess. I mean, they were in the New World by that point. Imported Eat. moose. Oh, I love my moosey Ricks. My I moosey. Named him after my favorite wrestler, Ricks Flair. Ricks Flair. And this, this moose, Woo! this moose loved to drink. It drank all the Danish beer. I don't know uh -huh. if that's common for a moose. I don't know either. I don't think moose are common. You've brought right. in, you, you've brought in a wild card times two here. Yeah, it was a drunk moose, and like not only like I mentioned, it, he was like a dog. It would follow him around when he was like in his carriage. Like, come here, moosey boy. Oh, was that uh what they based Bowwinkle on? Because he was drunk the whole time. <laughs> he was. He was pretty he fucked must up. Have. He was pretty fucked up, especially I, in the remake with Keenan in it. I always, I always. What? That was a Kenan. that was a movie. Keenan was in the Boat Rocking Boat Welcome movie? Yeah, the, like 2003 or something. You're fucking with me. I think so. I could be totally wrong. Keenan and Quell. There might be another comedian I don't really care Kenan about. Keenan Thompson, Kel Mitchell. Yeah. It's good. Soda parties. It's good as burgers. That. So this moose got drunk as fuck and he'd hang out uh, when he hosted parties because he was always partying. Always. And everyone loved this drunk moose. He loved the drunk moose. How can you not? Yeah, I'd like I mean, I'd moose. like a drunk moose. So, Tom, can we get a drunk moose? One night, uh, Tycho's moose started drinking a lot. What a sentence. Drink a lot. Tycho was drinking with the moose. Everyone loved the moose. <laughs> Getting all drunk with the moose. What what apparatus exists where a moose can get its buzz on? Uh, I mean, well, yeah. you said it was a frat house, so like I'm a, assuming a funnel. Yeah, there is a fucking... You have to drink a lot of beer to get a moose. Like, that's a moose like has to drink kegs. a lot of beer. Yeah. yeah, that's two kegs. It's fucked up. A this moose is so fucked. Yeah. When, I don't when think you people... Have, when you have, uh, when you have uh, 1% of the Danish GDP to party with, you party hard. Doing pretty well. Yeah. I, as and, many kegs as you and like. And I would like to point out, a moose... Is usually one foot taller than your average human being to the shoulder, right? You know, yeah, what I mean? so, you, so you, you can't jump up on a moose and saddle it. This thing's a beast of its kind. No, you gotta pull a you gotta pull a kangaroo or a baby monkey and hop on its belly. Just get really good, <laughs> really really good core strength. You just strap on a undercarriage. Yeah, yeah, the undercarriage carry. So the moose is wasted, and <laughs> it's stumbling around. Everyone's laughing. Tries to go down the stairs, take a piss or something. Falls downstairs and dies. The moose? Uh, the moose. End uh, of the moose. Uh, How you... tragic. Yeah. All right. All right. Did he get another one? Stop. No, no. no. I don't think he did. No, no. I think he was so broken up. No, no. What do you do 
with a dead moose? Eat it. You have to is eat it, it tasty? That's my question. Moose is tasty. I've, I've had moose. It's is, tasty. Oh, okay. How is it tasty? Is my question there? Is it gamey? It's I feel it's gamey. It's as pretty, I mean, I had it in a, I had it in a jerky form. Uh, so like jerky, uh, kind of like you know everything tastes the same. Salt. Yeah, it's not really good. Like uh, right, but it tastes way good. to judge the meats. Yeah, per se. I want like full blown moose. There's yeah. any Canadians out there with I don't know what did you call it? Moose also, venison? this was his friend. Yeah. So you don't really eat your friend, but realistically, you're gonna have to cut it up if you want to. I eat it. a friend because it's like a it's like it's a, a it's like a tree beast. trunk. Yeah. Wherever it dies. You need to get a bulldozer or a, or a, or a uh, what are those called? The big cats? Oh, the big cat. Bobcat. Yeah. The bobcat, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. You got to get one of those. They didn't have those back then. No. no. You you have swords and no. manpower. Probably, you know who probably chopped up the moose? It was probably his little, like, subjects from the island. Oh, his, and they're it, like, it was oh, you fucking... It was, it was Jeff. Jeff. He made Jeff, Jeff do it. <laughs> it took three Jeff. days. <laughs> <laughs> he handed Jep a toothbrush and was like, cut this moose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch you destroy my friend. My pants may or may not be on, <laughs> but I will be stroking my mustache sexually. <laughs> oh, yes. There's no other way to stroke a mustache. Yeah, pretty much. So there's a lot of science shit going on here. The moose dies. He's partying. He's fucking whatever. I'm the only King one. Frederick II dies and his 11 year old son, Christian IV, takes over. And Christian I, has a fucking problem with Tycho. I I trust every eleven year old. <laughs> yeah, with my life. So one of the things circulating around Denmark at the time, because Tycho is such a big partier, is that Tycho banged Christian's mom, the Queen. Oh. And yeah, pre nose or post nose? Oh, the, the, post -nose. The, he's he's he has the gold nose. Yeah, for sure, mm, for sure. Yeah. At this point, all this talk about uh, Queen banging. And uh, Christian's mom. You say it like it's a pastime. I love it. I mean, it, Tycho made it a pastime. I mean, we don't know if he actually did it, but I want to believe he did Where's it. Where's the nearest queen to me Scott, right now? He probably did it. Yeah. You don't get that money for nothing. Be like, hey, queenie, check out my moose. That's and actually dwarf. a very Look interesting my question. My golden penis. <laughs> Where is the nearest queen? That's my. That's a good question, I feel. Den Denmark. Copenhagen. No, no, to us right now. Oh, right now? Where's the nearest queen to Long Island, New York, mm. is my question. I'm sure there's some sovereign state we don't know about in the United States. Well, if you count the Bahamas, oh, if you count the Bahamas, it would be uh, Lizzie the Second. I like that we knew that! Yeah. Or a.k.a. Travis. What about Canada? The yeah, same thing. Yeah. Oh, same there one. you go. But she's not actually there. I, th I thought you were talking about physical queen. Oh, oh, oh. That would be down in Soho. Oh, they they have a what are we talking show about? going on. I, I think Queen Latifah lives in New York. <laughs> Hell the Queen. Hell the Queen Latifah. Yeah, the Queen. Tycho is exiled from Denmark. Because of? Because of Rumors fucking of queen banging. banging. Queen banging and moose eating? It, it was queen banging, and also he didn't keep his church very clean. I think that was an excuse. What do you mean, church very clean? On his island. Christian was like, hey, you're a blasphemer. Oh, that kind of clean. Right, yeah. I thought I meant he wasn't sending Jep in there enough to clean up all the <laughs> fucking cigarette butts. Get in there, Jep! <laughs> Jep! I feel so like clean. I just, I'm imagining, like, Jep being a small version of Jeb Bush. Get in uh, there, Jep! <laughs> the, Jep Bush. The way, <laughs> Jep Bush. The way I imagine the name, it was, it's like it was, like, Ellis Islanded off of the original dwarf's name. Like, his name was, like, Jessup. Bro, he was like, no, nah, you're Jep. You're yeah. Jep, boy. I don't have time for that kind of name. Your name's Jep now. You're not worth the second syllable. Fuck you, Jep. Ha ha! Tycho Jep, Jep is not... Uh, uh, just for the record, um, we haven't really come up with a character voice for Tycho. No. No. I don't know He was like Minnesotan and, and British and <laughs> transatlantic fucking accent. Yeah, uh, I know. Anything but Danish. So excuse that, yeah. Well, we had a one or two Danish. But, yeah. Uh, what do Danes sound and, like? And they're shitty Danish. They're basically Swedish chef, and we know Sweden's kind of close to Denmark. Yeah, actually, during the time of Tycho, Sweden and Denmark were fighting. Oh, did yeah. they touch butts? They touched butts. That's how his... I'm going to go back to his uncle. His dad was an admirable uncle. His uncle was an admirable fighting the Swedes. <laughs> I'm going to go dad back uncle. to his uncle. He's a dad uncle. His dad. His uncle. His uncle. His uncle. <laughs> oh. His uncle Danish. His uncle like, Danish. I like the uncle. Tycho heads off to the continent once again, grabbing as much equipment as he could. Obviously, he can bring the big fucking building size sextant or quadrant. Quadrant. Well, it's yeah. a building, so. Yeah. It's hard. So he heads off there. And the Holy Roman Emperor, Rudolph II, snags Tycho up. He's like, yo, you're going to be my imperial court astronomer in Prague. 
So he's got a job again. But th- oh, look, good does, for him. Does Tycho have anything to say about this? Or if, like, someone... No, oh, he was like, fuck yeah. Oh, Like, okay. I want more money to fund my fucking sky looking. Cool, man. <laughs> God <damn>. Sky peeping. <laughs> fuck sky yeah. peeping. Sky peeping, he, you've been caught up in the sky peeping, sky yeah. peeping, sky peeping. Peep my whole penis. Yeah, Scotty peeping, <laughs> Scotty peeping. <laughs> uh, we had someone in Huntington named Scotty peeping, and he just peeped people. Yeah, no, he, he didn't. was a pee. He was a peep. He was <laughs> out there oh, peeping. Oh yeah, what weeds. came of that? Just nothing. Wait, wasn't that that guy who was like caught in Jim's neighborhood? Yeah. Oh yeah, peeping peeping boy. Yeah, it's peeping weed man. Peeping weeds. Peeping weeds. <laughs> Tycho sets up his new observatory and takes on a very famous assistant, Johannes Kepler. Oh, no hey, shit. yeah, telescope, brah. Tell us, he he used telescopes in his time. Oh, uh, so yeah. wait, did, was was uh, Tycho he, cool with that? Well, what do you he call was that? Just like that's not your eye. That's something on top of your. That's eye. That's a closed you're eye. Is that a game genie you're using? Oh my! Your eyes dressed, not naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kepler wasn't using the. Telescope at the time because it was invented, but he eventually would. Mm. He's a young boy. This is a young Kepler boy. As soon as they get. And during this time in Prague, Tycho really defined his model of the solar system, aka the heliocentric one. Well, I mentioned that his work contributed to the oh my the, God. the going of uh, from geocentric to heliocentric, okay. but he didn't believe in that. What? He actually believed in a geoheliocentric model. Which is the sun and moon orbited the Earth, and the rest of the planets orbited the sun. And the oh, Earth. Oh, yeah. So, so he was wrong, but for the right reason. He was compensating. Right. Well, one of his reasons, he said the Earth is motionless. Or right for this, the wrong reason. Right. He, well, he mentioned that the Earth is motionless and doesn't rotate because uh, it would be, a, in the quoting, it would be in violation not only to physical truths, but also the authority of the Holy Scripture. Which ought be paramount. If this place was moving, wouldn't I feel it? Because the last time I rode my moose, it was moving and I felt it. Yeah. And he was like, and God told me that it doesn't move. So, you know. I like how it's like, why? Ought be paramount. The way I see things is science. And that's all I gotta say. Right. Danish. Kepler. (laughs) (laughs) Danish. (laughs) Uh, Lars Ulrich. Lars Ulrich, and so Lars Ulrich, his assistant, I mean Kepler, <laughs> his it. assistant, uh, didn't believe in fucking his geo heliocentric. That's fucking dumb. I'm going to believe in the Copernican model, which existed before Tycho, and which was geocentric, where mm. everything revolved around. And just for you listeners at home, I don't think they had microwaves at this time. No. No. All right. Let's keep moving. <laughs> so that was a little, a, a little extra knowledge from Tom right here. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. That was how you know Tom knows his stuff. You know how they heat stuff up? Fire? No, they grab a grab a peasant and they just rub their food really fast. Oh, they just, on them. Sh- yeah. just shred it. Uh, <laughs> you might like, be hungry, but I'm rubbing all uh, the turkeys. On and you. then like and then all the grease is all over him. They're like, nope, I'm eating this. Kepler believed in the Copernican model, which is geocentric, and Tycho believed in his weird fucking Earth and the Sun are fucking dancing around, you know, banging each other. That's the real model. I still believe in that. Yeah. That led to a... (laughs) All right, just caught that one right there. (laughs) Tom still believes in the earth and the sun banging. Yep. Just going for it. How do you explain melanoma? Yeah. I don't give a shit. Well, the earth is flat. That's... uh... (laughs) Let's not get into that right now. I don't believe that. I just don't want everyone... Give me that, Tom! I didn't sip it. All right. Right now, Tom and I are having a heated argument about Jameson. Jameson. Just like the sun and the the earth do. When they're done banging. <sighs> and Earth says daddy too many times. <laughs> Pop Earth. Daddy. So this argument over both models leads to a big feud. Kepler's like, you're a dumbass, Tycho. Stop drinking and your nose looks stupid. And <laughs> Tycho's like, yeah, but I got all this research. Like, Because Tycho's... What Tycho achieved was cataloging and predicting the way things moved more accurate than anything that ever existed before. All right. So his research was really important, but he just didn't... It was, like, too thick to realize, like, oh, well... <laughs> On October 13th, 1601, brand new century. hey Oh, here we go. Tycho's still getting fucked up. He got fucked up in both centuries? Yeah, two-century boy. Well, we... No, we never actually did. 
Because yeah. I don't think I drank before 2000. Well, Ooh. I celebrated the Willennial. Neither. Tycho and Kepler attend a formal banquet. Mm. And during this banquet, Tycho gets fucked up. Really fucked up. Okay. And instead of breaking the seal, he held it in. N never. Don't he do what? that. He held in his piss. Because he thought that if he bled the lizard, it would be a breach of etiquette. What? Because he's like this like formal, I think the, I don't know who exactly was there, but I'm assuming they're like very important nobles. Like, I am not getting up from this seat because if I do, they will think I need to urinate. Sign you know, of he, weakness. He had a left Jep at home. Usually Jep <laughs> runs it in a little Ziploc baggie. <laughs> and a small Gatorade <laughs> bottle. Jep, where are you, Jep! boy? Jep! 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 Jep, I gotta pee in a Ziploc. <laughs> Jep, my lad. So, the event ended, and he still couldn't pee after the event. He was in excruciating pain. Jesus. And... Eleven days later, he died at the age of fifty-seven <laughs> from the from lack of piss pain. holding. At the time, doctors thought that he had a kidney stone. Uh, uh, doctors did not know what bodies were. No, then. they didn't. Tiny. And there were also some other rumors floating around. But he, and during this eleven days, he wrote his own epitaph. Yeah, That's, he was like, "I'm fucked. Mm, ah, I shouldn't drink too much. That's I'm having an eleven day ass. hangover." And he wrote, I lived like a sage and died like a fool. He wrote that epitaph, uh, and I mentioned before that there were rumors circulating around. You know, the doctors thought it might have been a kidney stone, but, you know, Tycho partied a lot. So, yeah. obviously there's going to be some scandal. This is like if Lindsay Lohan died or something. Some scandal oh, yeah. stone. That's probably, you know, Lindsay Lohan hasn't been in the news for a while, actually. This is... Her mom Showing my age. It's yeah. kind of a throwback. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> like five, six years. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Lindsay Lohan's... That was the last of it. I feel like Neil Hamburger right now. <laughs> Lindsay... mm, what about that Lindsay Lohan? What about the Britney Spears? <laughs> there were two culprits. One of them was his cousin Eric, who people thought was hired by Christian V, who was the, the, the king of Denmark at the time. The... And what do you mean by culprit? What was... Eric being accused of... Murdering Tycho. There's... What, he punch him in the gut when he had to pee? Well, um, they didn't really... At the time, they didn't really know what it was, but over the centuries, they thought he might have had mercury poisoning. Hey, uh... that makes sense. At the time, they just maybe assumed poison, but then over as the centuries went on, because back in the day, they'd probably drink mercury and be like, yes, it's great for your dick. You will get the hardest cock. If we you say that nowadays. You'll, you'll be hard forever. You won't know what your wife looks like anymore. <laughs> that plump pussy. With just miles of fucking pubic hair, like a rope. Rapunzel's fucking hair. That's what they had. Braid it. Yeah. Yeah. Those weren't dresses. So they thought that he might have been poisoned by his cousin Eric Christian the Fourth, in revenge for fucking Christian's mom, the queen. Right. I... Um, and this scandal, this royal scandal, would have been floating around. They People knew about it at the time. And some historians think that it might have been the inspiration for Shakespeare's Hamlet, which was also about a Danish court and murder in the royal court. Right. And Hamlet came out the year of Tycho's death. Mm. So people are like, oh, is this about Tycho nailing Christian's mom? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe Hamlet. The other culprit was no other than Johannes Kepler, hey. who didn't have access to Tycho's laboratory. So people thought he, that they might have, he might have poisoned Tycho to get access to like all of his research and all of his... Hey, Tycho, you want to buy this Slim Jim? Yeah, slime into a Slim Jim. <laughs> slime Mercury. Jim. You got poisoned. Tycho left all of his research to his daughters and family members, but because they weren't nobles... Kepler found a way around the law to be like, I'm going to get all this stuff. Oh. So that was more motivation than like, oh, I might have fucking killed him. Those scandals existed for centuries until eventually his body was exhumed twice. Wow. Once was in 1901. The other was in 2010. 2010? Yes. They wow. Fuck. Because Tycho, Tycho Brahe was like, he's, he was, I think he might even be on the Danish currency. Don't quote me on that. But he's like a Danish treasure. Oh, they have kroners? Kroners, I think. Yeah. yeah. But, like, but like, he's like a national treasure. So like any of this like scandal well, and his, shit. His face was literally a treasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll learn a little bit more about that 
in his post-mortem analysis. Because uh, while they did find some traces of mercury in his beard hair, they didn't consider it enough to be lethal. They, they thought maybe the mercury might have come from fumes from his alchemy experiments or like a tincture that he might have received on his deathbed. Like there wasn't enough mercury. It would have like, kind of made him a little weird, perhaps. Right. But not dead. Yeah, they're like, uh, he had some mercury, but the real killer was urema, which is blood in your urine. And his ba- his his bladder burst. Oh, Bad. so one party and you're holding it in. Yeah, that, and that's the moral of the story. Don't hold in Don't, your fucking piss. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. If you need to pee on the lawn, that's fine. Break your seal early. No, you said blood in y- his urine, but yeah. the other way around, urine, 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 urine in his blood. Yeah, <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> yeah. There was there was urine coursing through his veins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is a piss demon. He's a piss demon. Don't hold in your pee. And that's why we take so many piss breaks here. Fuck yeah. Because we don't want to die like Tycho. Dang. Another thing about this post-mortem autopsy, I guess all of them are post-mortem. But wow. anyway, in 2010, we figured out that they took an analysis of his nose hole. Because ah! apparently he wasn't buried with his nose. He was noseless. I Who has like a nose? We don't know. It was that's grave like the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, shit. Who's that's- got Brahe's nose? The next Indiana Jones is all going to be about Brahe's if, nose. If you That's have hilarious. Brahe's nose, like, comment, and subscribe. And Let give us me know. it. I want to I wear it on my forehead. Yeah. Wow. Rent it to us. So one of the things that they found out about his nose from doing like little like you know tests on his nose hole was that his nose was probably not made of gold ah! and silver. It was probably made from brass. Plated. What a bitch! He wore ass a bitch. plated nose oh, of brass. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I want to scrap this entire podcast. Right <laughs> Fake news. That's Tycho Brahe. Cool, a, a man. A fucking drunk astronomer. I have a question. Yeah, go for it. If Tycho Brahe had to be a furry, what animal would he pick? <laughs> I think he'd pick a moose. <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably be a moose. Uh, right. His his fur name would be um, <laughs> Moosefur. Yeah. I like fur name. It's like it works with surname. Yeah, fur yeah. Name. I don't know. Is that a thing that yeah. uh, moose- chime in if you're a furry? Yeah, because <laughs> like, we're looking for furry subs. No, moose- we don't. Want, we don't want to. We're not here to exclude anyone. I like no. the, I serious like- question. Uh, I don't think he was a furry. I like the name. I think M- Jep was definitely a furry. He I was like a great <laughs> squirrel. I like the name Moosefur. Yeah, he was Lucifer. <laughs> that was his his fur name. His <laughs> that is a Tycho Brahe. Dude. And I don't know. I hope I present enough uh, enough facts to present him as the king of the cosmos that was from Katamari. Fucking Damacy. awesome, dude! Yeah, Thank that was you. a good roasty. I had yeah. fun making fun of him and everything that his culture was. Right. So uh, fucked up the solar system. Yeah. Didn't get it right, but he gave us a lot of good research. He put in the effort. Listeners, thanks for tuning into the show. Yeah. Why don't you follow us on Twitter? We're at the Dude. Roast Mortem Cast on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me as well, Tom Saltman, at Saunched, S A U N T C H T. You can follow me, Travis Lee, at Travis Legion with two E's. And you can find me, Cody McCain, at Cody McCain on Twitter, C O D Y M double C A double N. Hey, and if you liked what you heard, you should subscribe and share it. You, you know, you might be like, hey, someone might just like hearing these jerk offs talk about shit. Do us a solid. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane, everyone. Have a good week. Thank you, Shane, for whole listening. Penis. That's a good note to go out on. Bye. Dicks. Dicks.